Hello, my name is Tiffany C. Wright, and I am the Resourceful CEO. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a subject that's been a lot in the news, you know, remote workforces, hybrid workforces, and this may actually be two parts. <laughs> I'm trying to squeeze this into a five-minute chunk. just may not be possible. But anyways, the I often find that when owners are resistant, which a lot of the companies that I work with, which are typically B2B companies, are resistant to their employees working remotely, or at least uh, more of them were definitely resistant before the pandemic, but it's amazing what necessity will make you do or how necessity can knock down that resistance. But there's still a lot of, uh, there's still a lot of resistance with many owners wanting to bring people bring their employees back to the office as soon as possible. And there's been some resistance and they're having problems with turnover and so on. So I wanted to talk to you about that. The So many owners tell me that a, a lot of the problems with their business have to do with their employees. The employees don't perform as well as they could. They have hard, a hard time finding good people. They, um, their employees are inconsistent um, and, and so on. And so when you say this about a couple of employees, this one thing, but when you say that about a workforce of 10 to 50 or even 100 people, then I know, I mean, warning bells go off. I know that it's the owner and, and the culture and so on because I mean, unless you're just hiring whoever walks in off the street, then it, it, there's just statistics don't support that many people being that bad. <laughs> so anyways, so what happens is that there's no structure, there's no direction, there's no guidance, there's no, uh, no real support. The owner will often say, I want this done in direct the managers, and then the managers will direct the employees, but one manager will do one thing and then another manager will do another. The other thing is that the owners will say one thing one week and another thing another week, and so there's no consistency. So the important thing, and especially if you're working remotely, is to have some structure. You have to put in the structure to support people working remotely. You have to move from directing people and telling them what to do to focusing on the outcome or the output that you want them to achieve. Whatever, like for instance, if you have customer service personnel who could work from home, not saying that they can, but JetBlue uses all of these people who work from home. So believe me, it's very, very possible, as do a lot of other companies, but JetBlue uses people in the United States uh, the last time I checked. Don't quote me, but the last time I checked. <laughs> so if if they can do that with their customer service personnel, why can't you? Why do they all have to sit in the office? The difference is, before we get to the technology, technology the difference is they're, they have a script. They're, uh, they provided training on what kinds of issues they can troubleshoot and how to troubleshoot them. They're told, they're given guidance on or told how many calls to make in a given day or, or, or how many calls they're expected to take in a given day or at a given time and, um, or during a given time. They're, uh, they, um, they're measured by, you know, they're, they're graded on customer satisfaction. All of these kinds of things that aren't typically in place at small businesses in the three to even $50 million range, which is the range that I typically work with. So by putting in this kind of structure, you can get the consistency that you want. And so in the next video, I'm actually gonna talk about what some of that structure will look like, specifically as it pertains to, um, a, for instance, customer service, but this also can this also applies to your marketing team or your purchasing team or anybody else who's working from home, or if you have a more service-based business, but potentially everyone can work from home. Tiffany C. Wright, the resourceful CEO. Mm -hmm.